Hello, people here, welcome to Mr. Who Reviews. Today we're going to start online the Iron Crab Earth. Now, uh, this is already an anime, uh, this is already a manga that was created by this person named uh, Reki Kawahara. Um, this came out in 2012 and over the years it got a lot of uh, hate. This is the usual sort of like the main character is bland and it's the worst anime ever. I think it's worse, but mm. um, I do see some of the problems that people have with it, especially in the second season. Ugh. And in the story arc after this. Well, whatever. But I do like it. And this anime and manga is about the virtual reality and uh, about 10,000 people who have uh, got to uh, get their first the virtual game and you actually go into the virtual world with these uh, uh, virtual reality helmets, not a, not a nerf gear. Basically, where the Helmet and you lie in bed in your mind and just go to the virtual world or something. And turns out the the creator of the game and the Nerf Gear, uh, Noriyuki said, no, 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 uh, Kaiba Akihiko, yeah, that's the guy's name, as he uh, traps 10,000 players. In the game, the only way to get out is to uh, defeat every boss in the horror of uh, floors. And if you die in the game, you die in real life. I see someone has seen Trom. And um, the protagonist of this is named uh, Kirito, aka uh, Kazuto Kirigaya. And he's a bit social awkward or socially awkward and a little bit of a loner. And I'd say the first few episodes are good. It's uh, the first one that's shown the world of uh, the of uh, the show. And there's now Ironcrad is the floating fortress or castle that has their own floors on and towns as well. And also it turns out that there was beta testers for the game came out and in the second episode there's some players that don't really like uh, the beta testers since they took a lot of the uh, easy quests and hunting grounds. Uh, and apparently it's been two months and no one's able to find the, the floor with the first boss or the dungeon with the first boss. Like, you know the attack pattern and what type of creature the boss is and what weapon uses? But they didn't know where to find it for two freaking months! About 200 people died in those months. What the hell? I don't, I don't know, and after that, uh, they actually do defeat the boss and uh, Kirito actually meets another player who he had to up with named uh, Ozuna. He, a lot of people started to be a bit paranoid about the uh, beta testers since uh, one guy knew that Kirito knew about the attack pattern or something. And Kirito does that uh, takes the blame and people start calling him a beater since they feel he's seated. And uh, turn up, Kirito gets uh, a, a, a cool black coat after being the boss. Because they get some items they beat some of the bosses, but whatever. Um, that's all three of the Christmas episodes. Yeah, one of the darkest Christmas episodes I ever saw. Kirito actually joins up with this uh, guild, which is like a team of people. 
known as the Nunit Black Cats. And they got along kind of well. Um, then they get they go to a, a room where there's some uh, crazy dirt are higher level than some of the other uh, players from the guild. And then you think it's all transportation crystals. Yeah, they don't work when they, work when they go in that room. And Kirito is the only one that survived, and the guild leader actually commits suicide. And during Christmas, Kirito trying to get his head. A uh, hat thing that that he hears able to bring out somebody back, but when he does get it after facing a demon like sand claws, turns out only be back person that's uh, like near death not that been dead for a while, and it also turns out that Kiro didn't tell uh, his friends about his uh, level, so one of the players there named uh, Shossi knew it. I don't know if that's alright. And um, just thanks to Kirito for trying to help them or something. And there are some stuff that still be explored more in the series. Like, so you could some more the floors or just some more uh, adventures with like, Kirito and some of the other characters. And there's a character named. Uh, Elizabeth that Kira goes to eventually with and she slowly uh, has a crush on Kiriko because he's like uh, uh, a blacksmith and doesn't really go out that much even though she used to have a guild and he doesn't really go deeper into that like why she's uh, just in a shop all day and when she's just about to tell Kirito her feelings after making the best sword in the game for him, she finds out that uh, all the time Kirito have feelings for each other, even if they don't know it. And there is this uh, kind of good uh, two pair with this uh, character dying in a part of the uh, game that's supposed to be a uh, no kill zone. And apparently, uh, over the Few months said uh, these dead uh, player killers known as the uh, Laughing Coffin have found a way to get uh, a player to uh, accept the duel by, by when they're sleeping. Yeah, I don't know. Might be some problems with the two power, but it's okay. And the reason that why uh, the person died and Another character reason to come another character it's just I don't know. But the things are that good in the in the episodes uh, eight to nine Well like eight to ten I think, yeah, I think so. With the also in Kirito again and then just uh bad in the dungeon then find the boss and uh, then uh, Kirito Ravine, he has an uh, a exclusive skill called the uh, dual wheeling. And after uh, seeing that uh, head of the guild, uh, Ozna, his part known as the uh, Knights of the Blood Oak, uh, led by a uh, Heathcliff, wants uh, Kirito to join and have a fight with Kirito, which Kirito loses. And there is a important episode since it reveals uh, who Heathcliff is. And uh, just uh, some good moments between the author and Kirito on this. I'm simply saying that by episode day, yeah, 11, when he introduced this uh, character named uh, Yui, the soldier had gone a bit down the hill since uh, they don't really like that Oz and Kirito are acting like her parents, even though she has amnesia and they don't really know if she actually has parents. And later on they go to this uh, orphanage to find out if she came from there. I'd like to agree, what parent would let the, a kid go to a game like this? Like you're able to do stuff in a bedroom and not killing. I just do now. 
um, the some then some re is real about Yui. Um, there's just this a filler episode that to set up for the last one with this a fishing guy. Um, apparently, yeah, they can't really take the nerf gear off. The kids are trapped, or the people are trapped in the game. Cause if you do, do like expose your brain or something, like um, a microwave thing, I, I can't remember. I haven't watched the season in a while. I just remember a few things. And eventually, they have to escape a bit early since they only got the. At floor at A7, and Kiro decided to duel with Heathcliff again with Osna being killed. And even though he died and resist dead, or just came, came back to and resist the programming of the game and killed Heathcliff, he's done. Or he defeated him, and everybody's able to go back, and somehow. Him and Osna are still alive. Well, he is. I'll get to Osna's fate in the, the next arc. And in the episode, they say that Kai can't really remember what, why he did all this to begin with since it takes place of two years after the first episode. They say in the first episode why he's doing this. I. I don't know how, how you forget. Maybe you, that was a, an NPC or tutorial of, of, of himself. I just don't know. I think this this the first act is good. Has some great fights and uh, some of the characters are great. And the first episode I saw was uh, the Black Swordsman. I really enjoyed it. It got me interested in the season. In that the uh, Kiro meets a character named uh, Silka, and really they need a help her because, as he says, she looks like his sister Sugula. Yeah, they saw the Sugula in the first episode of this, and they make her main character in the next arc. They look normal like I just don't know, and apparently the animation co company that. Uh, or company that uh, does that sort of one has a habit of giving the character some characters the same face as others. I don't know why they didn't do with this or with them. I don't know. But if you want to see some that or see a version of sort of one that's really funny and looks uh, a, a bit better and fills in some of the uh, plot holes in this in the show, what's the bridge version? From uh, some witty entertainment. They already completed the first arc and they're on episode 14 now. And it's hilarious. I'm pretty scared to like an anime version of Deadpool. It's just great. I took out way for it the next episode for it. Um, yeah, that's uh, about it. Um, oh yeah, and Kaiba as a villain? Yeah, he's sort of bland. I think they're trying to give him like a god complex. But, nah, you didn't really saw really that much as a bad guy, just like a. as a general or a commander of the, of the guild he, he's in charge of. But, didn't really seem that much. didn't seem that good as a villain. That, but you know, that's my opinion. Those who are watching probably have different ones, but mm. anyway, yeah, I'll see you guys later.